Welcome to Space to Ground, I'm Chelsea Bayarte. This week on the International Space Station, power was the name of the game. NASA astronauts Josh Cassida and Frank Rubio completed a spacewalk to deploy one solar array and disconnect part of another. Meanwhile, Japanese astronaut Koichi Wakata showed the power of international teamwork by deploying Uganda and Zimbabwe's first ever satellites. Cassida and Rubio completed their second spacewalk last week, this time spending a total of seven hours, five minutes outside the space station. They worked together to install and unravel a solar array that rolls out like a rug. They also created a workaround on a damaged portion of one of the space station's original solar arrays with the goal of restoring it to 75% of the array's functionality. The duo will be added again December 19th to install another rollout solar array. Astronaut Koichi Wakata deployed CubeSats from all over the world. This includes Pearl, AfricaSat-1 from Uganda, ZimSat-1 from Zimbabwe, and the Taka satellite from Koichi's home country of Japan. These satellites launched aboard a Northrop Grumman Cygnus spacecraft, and now that they're deployed, they'll fly together as a constellation to take observations of the Earth. The data could help researchers understand the quality of agricultural growth on the ground. Speaking of cargo spacecraft, the astronauts spent much of last week unpacking goodies from the newly arrived SpaceX Cargo Dragon spacecraft. They activated some time-critical experiments, unloaded scientific investigations to work on later, and even unpacked some ice cream. While plenty of the research conducted on the space station is to benefit life on Earth, many studies help us understand the human body in space, so NASA can plan long-duration missions to the moon through the Artemis program. In fact, the rollout design of the solar arrays deployed during last week's spacewalk will be used on the Gateway Lunar Outpost. NASA's Artemis 1 mission returns from the moon Sunday, December 11th, and you can watch live coverage of the historic splashdown starting at 11 a.m. Eastern. Until then, check out the latest episode of Artemis All Access to see what the Orion spacecraft's return to Earth has been like so far. That's Space to Ground for this week. Thanks for watching. And by the way, you can get a daily on-orbit status report by visiting our Space Station blog at blogs.nasa.gov. We'll see you next week.